I conquered the world as Albania, which resulted in me wasting 24 hours of my life because I had to invade Europe three times, which also caused 20% of the population of the entire world dying. And all this for it to end in failure. It's safe to say we are going to go with political effort today and we are probably going to do something very similar to last game because this is not gonna field an army. And just give me five minutes until I'm over there. Somebody also has plans with us. Oh God. <laughs> I shouldn't have played Germany with my five research slots. I was just sitting there and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do today? And now I'm just looking at this and I have a whole two research slots and I... And we have one guy in our army without guns and without bandages. And we're gonna build Sith factories. It's not gonna matter. The Sith factory is gonna be done after Mussolini demands us to... For a second, I thought we had a navy. That would have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just have to... Oh. Italian ultimatum. Effective if they accept, we get annexed, but then they can release us as a puppet again. Right. Not sure why you would do that, but... That's Mussolini. I don't have to question anything he does. At least I get a lot of the shitty countries out of the way first before I can, you know... Have some fun. I am going to get the industrial concern already. Ah, I should have gotten free trade first. That's fine. What's 5%? <gasps> we don't have an MIO assigned. Those 5% construction speed isn't really gonna do anything for us. Free trade it is. Construction and interwar tank development, I guess. The old guard is actually pretty cool. Seems to be honestly our best bet right now as our field marshal. It's honestly not the greatest field marshal, but whatever. <laughs> I need every little bit of defense I can get. We have the interval tank. Next best thing is probably RT then. All right, discourse, referendum, boom, boom, a war economy. Could spend a little bit of PP to increase his opinion. Or we could just wait until world tension spikes a bit more. Stalin isn't gonna help us anyway, so it doesn't really matter when we join. Oh, did I just get, no, no, ideological loyalty. I just threw away 35 XP, whatever. We're Albania, it's not gonna help us anyway. I think it is time we start industrializing a little bit militarily after getting a single Sith factory. Because we have to be somewhat prepared for Mussolini. Can we join Stalin now? We should be a... Fuck off! There we go, you cock. You know what? I'm actually gonna sell those convoys. Let's also sell 3,000 guns. We can't really field that many men anyway, so I'd rather have the additional few bits of IC if we could get it now. Why do we have a capital ship expert? We're never gonna be able to build a single one of those. Wait, we don't have mountaineers. But we're Albania, we should have mountaineers. That's our entire thing. Oh, uh, let's not get towed, Artie. That's way too fucking expensive. We can't afford anything more than that. We have to deal with this. We could strap some additional armor on it for more hardness, but I think we're just gonna go with that. All right, let's start pumping out a few of those. How many would we need for a single AA? A tank. I think it was 30. 36. Okay, that's pretty good. 36, we can deal with that. Like, that's that's 36 weeks. We're almost there. Okay. I'm not gonna say that I feel great about this, but I do feel something. Okay, we have mountaineers. It is time to design some templates. This is so scuffed. We have 8% hardness. I don't really like that. I want my 10%. I guess we're gonna have to build some Albanian tanks. Let's think about this for a second. We are not gonna be able to build any divisions anyway. So it stands to reason that it would make sense to actually build somewhat of a useful force. 8.31 production cost hurts for such a shitty tank, but fine. It's actually very nice because the APK 415 doesn't cost us any tungsten. Do not let me down. I hope I can build a few of those. Okay, we can build four. Four is very good. Oh no! Already running out of building slots. Italian ultimatum. The game could end for us. That, that would be a very interesting A to Z episode, wouldn't it? But it shall not come to pass. My bold friend, we are going to rally to Zorg. Please get those divisions out. Time to do some more jumping jacks, guys. Please. Italy is coming in. Please stop training, guys. Stalin, come join us for some fun. Yes. Yes! Give me resources! Wait a minute, Salon. I need resources. Come on, please. Yes! I 
thought maybe Germany was gonna be a little bit cautious here, but oh god, Mussolini is attacking. But our divisions shall hold. They're gonna hold, and we're not gonna lose a single man. That's one danger if I just let them stand here in one day and 22 hours. We are in 11 hours, so there we go. We can defend here, but this is putting us very thin. So let's just get these guys out, plonk these four here, and the other four we're gonna plonk here. And then I wanna make sure that these are not in the ports so that the ports are only our mountaineers because the mountaineers are gonna be best at defending here. We could buy the train from Stalin. <laughs> That's a whole factory though. I'm just gonna play without... Actually, can I buy trains? I don't think... <gasps> I can buy trains. Let's give me trains. Ah, oh, naval invasions everywhere. Okay, let's get one more Soviet steel. And that's almost our entire economy. But the upside is I'm not gonna be able to build any more than that. This is such a sad production line. It's time for something big, my friends. I might as well start researching nukes already. But the big thing that I'm talking about is, of course, the best thing of them all. The Flammpanzer. If Paradox allows me to pick it. Come on! Paradox, thank you. Just have to curse you once, curse you twice. Dozer blades, please. I'm also going to upgrade the Nora a little bit with some dozer blades. We only have 3% war score and we already lost 5,000 men. Oh God, so Stalin, no. I'm gonna keep two guys here and the rest is gonna go to Italy. If we could get Italy as a puppet, that would be amazing. It's gonna be a little bit of microing here to get the most out of this. I'm also gonna do support attacking here just so we get war score. That's just pushing is so expensive. It's just Italy right now against us. I think Hitler's gonna be cautious for another year. Yeah, sure. Give me literale. Nice. The Albanian Empire grows. I love it that Stalin doesn't own any of those states down here. But what ifs? I'm just gonna go back. It's getting very late. Fall of Rome. Just as I decided to leave, huh? You know what? Give me Rome. Come on. Give me Lazio. We have to go for a Hail Mary here. I suppose one thing I can also do is I could get some naval invasions going, but for that we have to get the rowing boat first. And I kind of didn't really plan on that. So, um, whoops, please just take Roma. Give me Lazio. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it. There we go. Italy is cut up. I'm gonna get a few horses out. I also want Lazio, please. Yes. Stalin, landing in Venezia would be very cool. Yes, you have one plan. Come on, go, 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 go. We need it before Hitler joins. Hugo joins the allies. That is so fucking bad. Yes, we have Venezia. Oh my God. There's nothing here. There's just Germans here. Press the attack, guys. I'm so fucking scared right now. Mussolini is the post. Come on. Italian from war. Germany is at war. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Italy should have pieced out. And we also didn't get an Italy. I think I'm gonna call these guys back, though. That's just way too risky, in my opinion, to hold this. <laughs> Why is Australia here? Did we already get a push through here? Apparently. Okay, so that's kind of the plan right now. Hopefully get as much damage in here as we can. 20% attack and 10% defense on mountains for rangers. That sounds pretty good, considering all of my divisions have rangers right now. There goes our industry. Was fun while it lasted. Uh, this is risky, but it could pay off very much. All of the Soviets should now leave because they don't have supply anymore. I believe we can hold on our own, which will give us more war score. Look at this, this was so worth it. We've almost doubled our war participation. Uh, yes, that was the thing that I was kind of worried about. Was not worried for a single second. And I'm getting so much war score. I want better support companies, yeah. We need to dig deeper till the core of the earth. Infantry specialist, yes. Okay, look at at the stockpiles. All of it is green for once. And they are just getting seasoned. Yes. I love salt and pepper, pepper, pepper. <laughs> our manpower pool is actually growing. We've killed a million axes and our manpower pool is just growing. Two million almost. Liberation of Warsaw. Okay. Lithuania got puppeted. Oh no, they, yeah, they got puppeted. So they joined the war and then suddenly, you know, new front and all that. Turkey joins the allies. I am not happy about that. It's just another front. 17%. Yes, my friend. Yes. Some desperate pushes. Come on, guys. If you push more, I'm gonna uh, not oppress you as much once we capitulate. Two million Germans for 30,000 Albanians. And the majority of them are not even 
or rather all of them aren't Albanian, I guess. Whatever, I guess it's time to start some pushing here. Look at them go. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Decent little Albanian encirclement. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? British forces? British commandos? No, that's not fair. I walked in there. You know what? I'm also gonna preemptively get field hospitals. Just speaking from experience here. Because while I do have a plan, we also will probably have to fight the entire world. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe they left a single... <gasps> yeah, Mayan! Let's go! Let's mobilize the polar bears and get navy, I guess. Shouldn't have gotten the navy. <laughs> okay, we do have Albanian North Italy, Albanian Romania, and almost all of Hungary. I mean, we do have all of Hungary, but, you know, could have been a bit more. If you enjoyed the video this far, why don't you subscribe? Yes! Fuck yes! We did not get Italy! I love it! You're not gonna be able to break free! After this we wasted a bunch of time, but the gist of it is we created the Central Balkan Treaty with Greece, we realized that China annexed Iraq, and we created a bunch of divisions in our puppets to start the annexation process. Goal right now, I guess, is to get Italy down then, so we get more manpower. My brother in Christ, I know you would rather be a part of the Chinese United Front, but the Chinese United Front is at war with you. You did this! It's broken. Do you need help? I can fix it for you. I don't want help, I just want something to be upset about. Kingdom of Denmark declared war on the Soviet Union. Bit ballsy there, but I guess they have the allies in a minute behind their back, so... The Soviets are gonna fall before I get the chance to declare war on them. Yep, there we go, they are part of the allies. Oh well, I hope you'll have fun. And then after wasting another hour trying to annex either Japan or China, I gave up and instead looked for other countries that we could justification juggle on. And I settled for Spain because they do have 90 factories and 25 dockyards. Let us design the Mercurio. And I'm gonna be cursed. The radio goes in last. I don't have the army XP for that. <laughs> ah! I'm losing my mind. We're only in Albania. Bro, I'd love to just skip some of those countries. But then again, like that kind of defeats the purpose of A to Z. China declared war on France? Indochina. Communist China joins the allies. Ethiopia, yes! Can use the African Union. That way the allies shouldn't really guarantee anyone. China tried the common turn. That is fucking scary. And there we go. The African Union has expanded. I don't think they can do some Finnish sniper tactics against me, so I'm gonna try and get Finland into this faction. I'm so sorry, Lithuania. What? Why did you not guard the port? I just looked at it and was like, okay, yeah, they're guarding the port right now. Yes, you have an order to guard both ports. I also enabled auto upgrade so we can save ourselves the 30 Navy XP for that. Uh, I guess we just got another collaboration government to prepare. 45%, okay. Do I think it's worth it to get another collaboration government on the Spanish? 20 factories over 90 days. We're gonna cripple our factories for the next 100 days. And we already have 45% collaboration. I think I'm just gonna focus on Portugal. I feel like that's better. One steel, please. Let's go! Our first escort ship. Time to immediately get wrecked because you're alone. That's a lot of damage though. For a single destroyer? I feel like that was quite a nice amount of damage. No! Our escort destroyer was destroyed. India is out. Wow. Although, the war for China is going on again. Shame that I'm not in it this game. Please don't fail me again, Suleiman. If you do, we will have a very nice talk in a little farm upstate. No! What did that mean? Another 30 million dead. Not that it will really matter. I didn't mean to annex them. I thought, I guess we're gonna play like that then. Kachok goes the Albanian manpower. Wow, we have manpower to spare. I have no idea where all of my manpower just went. All right, we're just gonna defend the ports here as well as in the mainland. And I'm going to put Italy on local police force if I can afford it. I'm not sure how uppity they are gonna be. Oh, but for the first time, we actually have factories to use. I think I'm fine with getting a few more. We can build! Two slots! Oh my god, I should have annexed Italy so much sooner. 84 factories. My lord, this is insane. Let's go down to limited exports, because now we sadly have all of the Italian stuff that I don't want to trade away. Look at our large admiral. Wow. I'm gonna make another collaboration government in Portugal with you and the woman. But look at this! We're actually getting somewhere now. And all it took was a mistake. 
<laughs> I legitimately didn't want to annex Italy. Italy is just gonna be the bank of Africa, I feel like. So Koto from Wiki2. I don't believe Italy plays any other role in A to Z. At least A to Z World Conquest. Because we have such a mess right now, I am just gonna give you the crosshair. Because you're gonna shoot all the resistance. I guess I can let the allies grind up against Switzerland. Unless Switzerland is just gonna rush into the allies and then get encircled. No, Merlin. Stop! Yep! <laughs> The AI is so cooked. They're not guarding here. They're not guarding our core provinces. Those Romanian divisions aren't doing anything at all. Switzerland. They if you just did nothing, you would have had a better chance of survival. Just don't attack a Switzerland. There's a nice little thing called the Himalayas here, you know? That is way too expensive for a fighter. Okay, that's obviously the Antonov AN-2S. Obviously. Because of the Afghanistan game, I kind of planned way too far into the future. And this will come back to bite us in the ass. I shouldn't have created those fighters. Not really great idea. This thing is extremely expensive. But I won't have more than the 1.7 million manpower for a long time. So I legitimately have to conserve manpower in the stupidest way possible. A bit crazy, a bit bald to keep Rome undefended. But we'll see if it works out. I guess it did, although I still feel like that was relatively costly. That was my navy! Suleiman, I think it's time to go up to a farm. I have a very nice one upstate. 150 factories that could be ours. Oh my god. I really need to take out Spain. 120 factories on Finland? I guess it's this time of the day, year, uh, game. Alright, I need to get another one. Troya, come on. Troya never betrayed anyone. We could delete a few of those Sith factories for some rubble refineries, which is absolutely cursed, but technically it is worth it. They're getting a little bit too uppity. I just moved my- okay, wait a minute. Wait, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not making a save, that is just a visual glitch. You don't have to complain on Reddit- Red Reddit? YouTube. Bro, look at this. I am gonna save, uh, not save scum, but you know. Spain shouldn't have that much. Yeah, there we go. They only have 100,000 manpower in stockpiles right now. I did. I did think about this, but we don't have any divisions. I just have to take this risk. Fuck it. Greece, get in here. Thank God I'm a moron. Thank fucking God I'm a moron. I don't want to lose all of Italy here, please. I worked so hard for this compliance. I literally am sweating right now because it's so hot in here. Virtual blood and real sweat for this crappy 26% compliance. I'm not gonna let you take this from me. Unless, you know, you do because I only have 10 divisions here. Greece, please help me. It's honestly a little bit sad. Just can't afford anything more than getting those encirclements for one or two divisions. Can't of a stretch more than that. Let's focus on Genova and La Spezia. So we get the ports here. Spain is down to 60 divisions. We have 70. Wow. Oh god. That's what I get for only guarding one port. I don't really care what you guys say or what you guys do. I am still going to encircle you. See, that's all part of my plan. Let them land and then just encircle them. This is for the survival of the Balkan Corporation Pack. The, the Central Balkan Treaty. This is like the Spanish Civil War, but it's fun because we don't have some stupid modifier that says I can't push. The only modifier that says that I can or cannot push is me and my skill at the game. I think it is time. We are going to cut off Catalonia. There we go. And now you guys are just gonna move in. Potentially, hopefully, before all of them flee. Another encirclement. All right, Spain is almost capitulated. I'm going to start the justification on Portugal. And then we're just gonna snipe some more VPs, I guess. Okay, nice. Time to build some submarines. Don't have the resources for it right now. Uh, there we go. Now we should, yeah, there we go. Now we have resources. Look at this. 100 mil factories and 30 dockyards. We are getting somewhere. Oh god, what happened to China? I mean, Iraq. I mean, China. I mean, yeah, the Soviets are winning. They are winning the front in Europe, at least. Let's tune in. Almost 80 million. And you've done nothing. Thank you, Eggman. I shall remember you and your sacrifices. Proper army, proper units, which also allows us to get so many more of those mountaineers. That was not on my schedule. Actually, this doesn't even say that they get a war goal on us. Like, we could also join the common turn, but that didn't say that you got a war goal on me. Fuck, you stopped giving me battleship adherents. I guess that's not a battleship adherent. Bro, that's half of your army that you're sending here right now. And it's dead. So I'm honestly gonna say auto this. They caught this already. That's why I got it in the Afghanistan game. They caught Angola, but I didn't call Mozambique. All right, uh, 
We have a lot of important land to defend now, sadly. And I don't really feel like babysitting this. So we are gonna have to make use of our manpower for once. Rise, my Romania, rise. I do want one invasion here. I do want one invasion into Mallorca. Fuck, this is an EO4. I need two invasions. I mainly just want to secure the Mediterranean here. Oh, United Cantons. Holy fuck. I just saw United Canada. And I was like, that's not a name. It's like Union of Can... Okay, they're still alive. Like, I thought the Soviets landed in America for a second. And they somehow managed to take out Canada. Final chance for you to increase your conscription law. Prolong the inevitable. You shall also not be forgotten. Nameless. Generico. Oh, we are the same. We're not the same. This guy just has a pin. Has a different suit. Let us never forget whatever the name of the Romanian guy was. Let us secure Libya. I guess we should have just dropped in three ports. And that would have been it. Okay, guys, please just walk. Those Libyans aren't gonna do anything. Look, he's moving. There we go. He's encircled. Kill him. Boom, shakalaka. Benghazi, Tobruk, please. Wee! More dead people! Yay! And with that, we have secured the Mediterranean. It is now the Albanian Sea. And I guess uh, it's the Balkan Corporation, Central Balkan Treaty Tree. The, the, the CBTC. Why is this battleship so based? Look at this! I guess Mussolini has done one good thing in his life. Göteborg. You're not Marines, but I mean, Mountaineers are pretty much Marines, you know, like both start with M. I can't think of anything else. Time to build some Albanian aircraft carriers. We have the bigger bob ready to go as well. Ooh, look at that. Who has a lot of steel to export? How fortunate. And I was already setting up some trade proposals with Sweden. The counteroffensive is coming in in the Caucasus. And China is starting to fall. 100 million dead. Bro, you have a war goal on Sweden. Why do you, why, why do you care about Sweden? Come on. The only one who is allowed to bully my little brother is me. I can't wait to do this with every single nation in this game. This is gonna be so fun. Draw front, do arrow. Please, be my guest. Oh, look at that. We can do a collaboration government in the UK. Who would have seen this coming? I hate this. Why does it automatically use my Navy XP? I just shouldn't click it anymore, but then I see research pop up and I'm like, oh, oh research, new research to pick. Ooh, I'll do it. Take my money. 1.3 million. It's our entire core population. If we didn't have the Italian manpower, we would have mobilized 100% of the the Albanian population right now. This is not possible in Hearts of Iron 4 without mods, you know. Navy is ready. We are going. Shame that Finland never joined. 114 points. You're not gonna get anything. You're gonna get a seat at the table of the victor of this world until, you know, I annex you as well. But until then, until then, you are free to be free. The special forces, since we are no longer just in for defending, I'm going to remove the tanks from them. I'm still training marines more. Fuck. That explains why I had to disband like 40 mountaineers suddenly. Whoops. I didn't even mean to do this. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> Almost no damage done here. Stalin, I do want to support you, but I have so much crap here. Let's just put all of this onto the market. God, that was a lot from Spain. Would be very nice if I could just auto all of this. Would save me at least two cases of RSI. Still some guns from anarchist Spain left over. Look at that. That's a lot of AT stuff. That's more anti-tank equipment than I've ever built. I sure hope somebody is gonna buy this crap now. This is only 100,000 thousand men but for us that is a whole lot there we go that's enough and now the planes should start flooding in what the fuck are the soviets doing everybody is just getting communist why is finland white it could be so much simpler to see where rivers are for encirclements it's an interesting winter war at least don't think i've ever had to use that much strategy for finland that's terrifying that is terrifying i think that's it for the soviets that is finland dealt with sadly finland doesn't have that much manpower either so annexing them doesn't do much this looks so scuffed oh no it looks like I'm playing EO4 and I'm just using puppets. Let us release Spain and Portugal. There we go. That is another 1.5 million manpower and another 2.3 million from Portugal and Spain respectively. I think I'm just gonna release Finland. Just don't look at our factory count. That's not gonna be good. Rubber refineries are very interesting though. All right, I'm gonna build them all over Spain and Portugal. I'd rather have those than nuclear reactors right now. And then we're just gonna 
start draining out all of the Spanish and Portuguese manpower. Because I can't field an army myself, but I can use somebody else to field this army. Ideally, I'm gonna wait until the Soviets are down to zero million men again. We don't really have a good guy, so I guess we're gonna train Evangelion for it. You can become our tank general. I guess Nepal and Bhutan I should release as well. The Union of Red Dragons. Ooh. Oh, Spain doesn't have any of their rubber upgrades. That's why we're not getting any rubber from Spain. Or that's why Spain is not generating any rubber, even though we're building so many. I have to annex Spain. This is pretty much the last chance to get Mexico, but I'm not gonna get them over here. That's too much trouble. Oh, the Soviets are still just resurrecting men from somewhere. It's just never gonna end. The Chinese-Chinese war. It at least has the casualties for a Chinese-Chinese war. Local Chinese Local conflict. 3 billion civilians killed. Also have to spread you guys out here a little bit because of attrition. And I am not allowed to forget about Gibraltar. Spain! Yes! They're below 1 million. God, it's worse than fighting the Soviet Union. You still have men in stockpile. Manpower need? Manpower need. Okay, cool. It only took mobilizing 800 divisions and suddenly Spain and Portugal are out of manpower. What a miracle. Your friend Spain is no more. And soon you shall join them. There we go. Let's also annex Portugal. I think we are fine with shooting this entire stack. 3.5 million men. Let's shoot this stack. Can we get a decent fucking general? I mean, Admiral. All of these are just ass. Fine. You don't need capital ship attack anyway. What the fuck? I don't need those three fighters. I'd rather not use those. Nine air attack. It's a waste of oil. Because I already prepared the navy, we did not have to use any garrison divisions. However, we still needed divisions for Spain, Morocco, the Western Maghreb, Libya, Italy, France, Italy, Austria, Italy, Switzerland, and Albania. And then we still need to send out the navy straight the Atlantic around Africa and Australia, as well as getting airplanes up. Although that one I will regret in just a minute. It was far less complicated than last time, but we still needed to spend about an hour setting everything up. But enough dallying, it is time for some dallying. Soviet Romania, I guess we're going to get Albanian Soviet Romania and Albanian Soviet Hungary back. Welcome back, my friend. No hard feelings, eh? Can you imagine defending Hungary or Romania at this point? Final chance for the game to crash? Or for me to have a change of heart? We're gonna start this order, we're gonna start this order, we're gonna start this order. We're gonna start this disorder. And I am going to push into Switzerland as well. But the rest we're just gonna hold. Fuck. Our strike force is not in there. Oh, Gibraltar. Nice. I was about to say, like, we have 400 ships death stacked here. All of the submarines are just suddenly in combat. No! There goes our war support. I forgot about Italy. Generico, half of you goes down here. Oh god, because we don't have the Romanian oil anymore. It's all just gone. We have to get to our puppets. And fast. Not even the Soviet oil is enough. I guess the 12 oil down here would have been nice to have right about now. Okay, legitimately, we have to push into Romania. The bad part is because all of our planes are out. If we lose air superiority for a single day, they can just nuke our air bases and all of this is gone. Fuck it. We're gonna abandon those. We're gonna abandon those. With that, we have 10 days. Guys, come on. There's nothing here. I know you're starving, but that doesn't matter to me. 70 days, yes. Because our tanks are not getting fuel. I hope France capitulates to us, but I am uh, not very positive on that. Yes, we have supply to Romania now. I guess that's gonna be a very chill battle for the Suez, the way it looks right now. Just sucks because now we don't get the collaboration government in France. Those jets are just guzzling all of this away. I legitimately cannot afford those jets. Yeah, fuck. I guess with Afghanistan that didn't really matter yeah with afghanistan that didn't matter because we had the us Merlin, stop stop i know you like to play hearts of iron but not today yeah if you took the port earlier we wouldn't have this problem right now sure who cares about taking out sicily certainly not me let's just take the sewers and then i'm gonna stop attacking here as well because with that we have secured the mediterranean the only stuff left are submarines so that I can just get in here and whatever the allies have in turkey and such you know but they're running out of ports very quickly in here 
Oh, fuck off! That's the third front line I have to draw for fucking Sicily! And it's not gonna be the last one, because as soon as we get over the straight, it's all gonna collapse. Can you guys not just leave the fucking front line here? What is this? Those guys are more stupid than I am, and I started Hoi 4 a to see World Conquest! Time to make World War 3 even more confusing. Goodbye, oil. Okay, these guys are immediately getting a nice small front line up here, and then you can push into Germany and... Germany. I disagree about the uh, pathing here. I want to get to Romania. Let's just take Turkey from behind, I guess. Maybe we can find some fuel here. I sure hope you know how to use a tank without fuel because you will have to either learn it or you already know how to. And as we've learned in Afghanistan, tanks are made out of oil. I would say that the Balkans are messed up, but <laughs> how's that different from the usual program? I know why I didn't get France, but come on. I feel like at this point I should be like, okay, guys, I have someone who you really like. It's Communist Patan. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm not sure why though. I guess we just had a spurt of oil somewhere. And then we can Dunkirk and there we go. There we go. That should be all the ports. And then we just collapse everywhere as well. Same thing for North Africa. Potentially we can take these three provinces and then all of these are encircled. But I wouldn't mind it if you were to defend Tel Aviv as well. And left a few units to defend. There we go. What the fuck? How did the Soviets just spawn here? War support is just a number. War support is just a number. Just don't worry about it. Pin with these and pin with this a little bit. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you took the one province that I have divisions in. I can't believe it. I guess there is a god, at least 2% of it. It's just so bad. Like, when it's warm, he constantly just comes up and snuggles. Oh, fuck. Just snuggles up. Because, like, he. It's just so warm for him that he just has to lose heat somehow. And it's annoying because then I can't type. Because when I type, then he's slapping my hands. And I can't move my mouse anymore. Oh, nice. A single American has started a naval invasion here. And I literally mean a single one. He didn't even drop his hat. He just disappeared. They just cast summon Italians. Or Irish? Summon Irish, yes. I'm going to try an interesting naval invasion now. I'm gonna try and cut these guys off. That's the Italy naval invasion that popped up. Good to fucking know. Guys, just, just walk into Dures. Yes. Uh, no, no, don't do that. That was, that was like a friendly dare, you know? When you ask your friend to fuck you in the ass, you know? Like, you don't want that. That would be weird. Come on, allies. You didn't give a shit the first time that Belgium capitulated, so why are you giving a shit right now? No pop-ups. I love it. Oh, the worst part is we're just gonna lose all of our compliance here. It's a bold strategy what the AI is doing here. They are snaking through Spain, but they have not secured a single port. I guess one Irish guy in Lisbon. And there we go. Your offensive has officially been cancelled. Your stay will be permanent. These guys are gonna move, move, move. I'm gonna keep one here. We do have the supply grace period. They are attacking and we are gonna support attack with the mountaineers and that should be the battle. I guess I am just gonna send a couple into Malta. <laughs> this freeway world war is so nice for just encirclements because I know that I can't efficiently get encirclements but I don't really have to, you know. I just have to push somewhere and then suddenly there's a border with someone. If we could push in there, that would also be a free encirclement because boom these are encircled and then i'm just gonna get half of you into split and then that's another seven frenchies world conquest without planes that is absolutely cursed what that is a d-day a very sad d-day a team you d-day because they did not even like i guess yeah they took one port i don't want to stretch this front too much because like i want first to get into romania pushing up here is so easy right now a constant dilemma when you're playing hearts of iron and like, when pushing is so easy but that's not where you want to go. And if you go there, then that's just going to cause more trouble for you down the line. This should probably work. Goodbye, world conquest without planes. Hello, fun. I've never seen you before. How many divisions are on you? Ah, whatever. I'm just going to draw front. That is not what I wanted. With that, Turkey is also completely cut off. So, Soviets, if you want to push there, I am fine with that. Look at it. Look at this. We have fuel. All right, we can get another 500,000 men from Romania. That offer I will take. I love it. I didn't want to keep this front anyway. It's not at all important here. With that, I can make the same mistake as I always do when I invade Turkey, which is capitulate them. All right, Liberia, I'm sorry, but you are death stacking and resisting. You chose the wrong allies. 
because you chose the allies. You should have chosen the Central Balkan Treaty. Man, if I didn't fuck up with the planes, we would have war support, which meant we had access to CP, which would mean we would have access to generals. But whatever, I can't change it now. All of the allies are gonna capitulate to the Soviets, which means our front lines are not gonna get fucked up. I'll have to do it more. There is a downside, you know, like France. We don't have anything in France. We could call in Bhutan and Nepal. And I could jump off a building. Ah, cock. Ethiopia invoked awesome. <gasps> I would have to invade the Greek islands. It was a pleasant surprise. Okay, guys, come on. Not cool. Still not cool. Turkey is still in the game, apparently. And just like that, the Mediterranean has been secured. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's take a look at the Chinese Chinese war again. 200 million on both sides. <laughs> I guess we've already broken the record for, from the last game. No, you actually have the visions here. You are so unbelievably cringe. Yes, nuking works. Naval invasions are very simple. Turkey, next time you invade Cyprus, just nuke twice. One on each province. Oh, right, I don't have Marxist spirits anymore. That's why we're losing so much men. That's the only reason. That's a side you don't see every day. Scraping the barrel Soviet Union with 50,000 manpower left. Ah, uh, the math does not check out. But sure, I, I guess Romania will be free. You're actually invading Africa. Bro, that looks like colonialism to me. That's not something that US does. Hey, Manny. Oh, it's hot, I know. I know it's hot. You don't want... No. Bro, you don't want that. It's so fucking hot in here. You don't want to jump on my lap, do you? Manny. No. No, oh God, my legs are gonna sweat. It's like 30 degrees in here as is. And now imagine a furry cat on your lap. How many naval invasions have they started? No, don't turn this into China, please. You don't have to invade five billion times. Looking at my manpower, we have to resort to this. I'm gonna make sure not to nuke Luxembourg. Or maybe I will do just that. I can already tell this series is gonna lead to me developing an irrational hatred for Luxembourg. That's all that's gonna happen from A to C World Conquest, Hoi 4, playing c combat and knuckles. I have no cast, but I must nuke. Oh god! The worst part about all of this is just that the Americans are so much faster than I am. I'm gonna attack once and if Luxembourg is not falling then I will nuke it. I guess the Luxembourgians saw reason this time. We have at least dealt a little bit of damage to the Soviet oil reserves. Even if it costs us half a million men. Which is a lot because we only have 700,000 at this point. And conscripting more people is A not possible and B doesn't do anything for us. Why did you leave? I hate front lines. I'm just gonna micro everything from now on. You know, I'm not gonna use the front line button a single time anymore. Every unit just gets microed. Every single movement that I do. Guys, fuck off, please. It's always the same with those. I wanna attack now while we still have the element of surprise. The best part about fighting in this crap with auto battles is everything just fucking sucks. And that is the Dutch dealt with. I don't wanna fight in Africa anymore. Please just fix this stupid front. This is taking so long again. 1.7 million Albanians. I'm so sorry. That is the best way for you to get over there. But why? Why is this a theme in this game? And with that, we also have a very small Germany pocket full of allies. I should just stop pushing because that just causes the AI to reshuffle and apparently that's enough to lose fronts. Last game we learned we shouldn't capitulate anyone. This game we learned we shouldn't push anywhere, which I guess makes sense. The first time you boot up Hoi 4, you have already lost. That was your biggest mistake. It stands to reason that actually playing the game is about the same. I can't wait until I can play an actual country in this game. This is gonna be so great. I feel like I've been here before, but that's kind of a theme. No, we no longer get the effects of dismantling the Magino line. Billions must die. Tanks already. Where, where am I gonna send those tanks now? Africa, so I don't have to look at Europe. You know what? Poland? I'm sorry, but when in doubt, just invade Poland. Like my grandfather and his grandfather did. I don't want to call in Hungary here, and I don't want to micro all of those units out, so they're all just gonna rush into Hungary. It's just a race against time. There we go. That somewhat fixed it. And now we just have to clean up this another pocket. And murdering people 
people still doesn't give you manpower. It's just nice to see whenever land capitulates to someone. Like, now we just have America here. Not a single American here. But Poland still decided, yeah, we're gonna capitulate to the US. Please, just sink those. Sink those Americans. Yeah, man. Just let me kill a few more of those allies and then we're gonna go to bed. Oh god, I still have to deal with all of South America. And that's another 40 Soviet troops. Look at this, bro. Like, there's nothing here. They all have to be in China at this point, dude. Like, actually, that's not even that many divisions anymore at this point. Two Chinese divisions that we have encircled. Wow, that's gonna make such a big difference. Okay, these guys are ready. We're going to call you into all wars. That should cause these Soviets to reshuffle a little bit, but it doesn't really matter to us because we should be able to punch through quick enough. Soviet Romania has capitulated to the US? Of course they have. 112 thousand people from iceland that's almost the entire population of iceland that died in this war there we go winning the war one battle at a time just out of curiosity okay everything is still fine what happened here how legitimately how did i assumed the ethiopians pushed a little bit and then my units walked in because i don't have any orders here to do that Another 70 Soviet divisions snuffed out. Say goodbye to Hungary again. Hopefully for the last time this game. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take out Poland first. I don't care what is efficient here. I just don't want to see those fucking events anymore. You're not gonna sabotage me. The only one that's gonna sabotage me is me by starting Hoi for A to Z World Conquest. Hmm, there's a supply up here that would be very interesting to get. Grozny Grad. That was a Metal Gear Solid reference. That is not a name for a city. What the fuck? Ukmerge? A city is supposed to be called Darmstadt or something. Not gibberish. This isn't Middle Earth. It's just everywhere is just ass to push. 1300 modern naval bombers airframes but the results speak for themselves those guys are all encircled no port for you anymore and no supply hub for you anymore just doesn't end it literally does not end what the fuck now imagine what this would look like if i didn't let the allies and the soviets grind up against each other no <laughs> I can't. Honestly, at some point, I will have to get a cat cam that's just, you know, the desk. So you can always see him when he just plops himself down here. I guess it's time to get the last manpower that we'll see for a little while. Goodbye, Romania. Again, that's another 20 Soviet divisions. There's only so many of those encirclements that we can do before the Soviets run out of manpower. All right, let's secure the Baltics. Just gonna reshuffle those. And there we go. This tank just has to hold while the rest shuffles in. And then we can collapse a little. Oh, they all left here. Can we take Narva? Mm, yeah, not without supply. What if we nuke it, Joe? And not if the Soviets reinforce, apparently. So let's just nuke it again. Come on! <laughs> Stop reinforcing. Just roll over. You've already lost 100 million men. How many more have to die for this stupid conflict? Soviet Estonia has capitulated. And for once, we actually got land that matters a little bit. Because now we don't have to navally invade those islands. Because I sure as hell can guarantee guarantee you that enemy ships are in here and that's actually gonna matter for once i mean i can just get my navel over here but saves us a trap where the fuck are you retreating to what the f i hate this game i hate it so much i just want to fucking strangle it how did they retreat into my territory at least we can attack in here no straight back for once but not Ooh. i did not expect us to have that many points paradox paradox we capitulated Russia because of our collaboration government. Then the peace deal fired. The allies stole all of my Europe that I conquered. Even fucking Belgium is back. Then they released Russia. Russia is joining the allies. We are back to war with Russia. And I did not get my collaboration. Hey guys, the front lines have shifted. You can move to the front. Germany under attack. Oh, fuck your ass. No, no. They're all going to fucking join the allies. Come on, at least join the war. That's why I fucking dreaded finishing the allies off because I knew crap like this would happen. I mean, the, the Soviets. If we capitulated the allies first, this would have been so much worse. This entire conflict with Switzerland was pointless. I'll have to justify them again. Can you imagine this? The Germans marching into the Soviet Union and the Soviet Union and the allies are at war for some reason. And then the Germans just have to leave, go home and they occupy a little bit of the Soviets and then suddenly Czechoslovakia, Poland, Yugoslavia, they all rise up and then like, okay, the Soviets are dead, I guess it's our turn to attack now what what promises of peace <laughs> I didn't declare war on anyone. Because they called the Russians in. The Russians joined against 
us and now we are suffering from this what is this crap that was not a smart idea and because you had such a funny idea belgium i also have a very funny idea fuck we don't have brutal oppression whatever forced labor it is for you i'm gonna get forced oppression just for you belgium that is fun that is very fun that bulgaria is here Thank fucking fuck I saw that crap. That could have just ended the run. And the great part is, because I have all of the VPs of the Russians, I will have to go to the Urals and Siberia and beyond in order to capitulate them. I guess let's do uh, Czechoslovakia again. Let's hold along this river. All right, you lot all go here, please. Please don't push. Please don't walk over the river. I really hope the UI is just bugged and there is actually a front. If I hover over this one, then this line isn't connected to this one. But if we select this one the line is connected i don't trust this i hope that fixes it don't tell me those guys that are up here they are going down there i fucking hate the ai no no why did i capitulate the soviets it's time we will have to shit out 10 width divisions as it stands right now we're gonna lose all that we've conquered if it's worth it to annex them right now i believe so because i'd rather use the manpower myself than have the ai grinded up here finland welcome to my empire Okay, Nepal, can you please stop? They have created 70 divisions. Well, now I just need people to hold the front, which is also why I'm going to get those 54 extremely untrained divisions out. We just need someone to hold and fast. The capitulation of Turkey in the Af Afghanistan really was bad. But like this, we're losing all of Turkey right now. <laughs> lost all of my oil in the Caucasus. As well as all of Russia that we conquered. Nobody is going down there. That is amazing. Video games usually do not make me upset, but this is pissing me off right now. And because I don't own Ukraine, I have to do it like this. All right, can, let's just kill the fucking UK. God verdammt das Arschloch. Oh, look at that. We're out of manpower. I'm gonna commit a fucking crime in the UK if these guys resist. I could send more divisions here, but I don't think we're gonna need... No, 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 no. I don't think we're gonna need them, but I don't want to get pushed out of here. That's the UK dealt with. And we have compliance on them for once. Oh no, the UK capitulated. I guess all of this is gonna join the allies now, eh? Just the way it's supposed to be. UK, they have our blessing. Do you have manpower? Okay, another 1.5 million. Greece is already starting some naval invasions. Honestly, that's the only one I can rely on in this game. Albania and Greece doing CBT together. And once again, we shall nuke our way to victory. That's not fair, they nuked us. Actually, I'm, they didn't nuke us. Did I destroy the airbase myself? I can't repair this airbase right now because it's an enemy territory even though I control the airbase and it's probably destroyed because I nuked a province in this state. Uh, that's a lot of allied divisions here. Don't mind if I do that. I learned from the AI to nuke Bornholm. Apparently it is a very strategic position. I'm gonna get the cast over here so that we can nuke again. Yes! I am nuking my own airbase here. I've never seen that. It's Iceland out and I'll tell the AI to just deal with South Africa on their own. No, no, fuck this game. We didn't have enough points to annex them. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Please just walk in there. I believe this is it for the British manpower though. The most annoying part is just when they have one breakthrough, they just start snaking. Ah, uh, fuck it, let's just fall back with these guys. Yes, yes, yes. Africa has been secured completely. Congratulations. Time to integrate you. Dismiss all of these guys. 2.6 million. Ooh, with the fascist lawyer. Ooh, minus 40% puppet cost, 10% consumer goods, and a little bit of PP gain, which I will happily take. And hey, Belgium, I'm sure you remember the little deal that we had, do you? <sighs> It's time for some brutal oppression. We're a fascist faction now, yes. I'm going to get you all into the Central Balkan Treaty. Please reinforce a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck. I should just stop nuking, man. Just destroying my own air bases. That's another 10 divisions encircled. It ain't much, but something, something. All right, we have another 50 divisions for the front line. I think I'm fine with getting a naval invasion. I wanted to go for with Greenland, but 
Let's just use what we have here. Alright, let's just right click. That was even easier than I expected it to be. Turning the entire eastern front into rubble is actually a little bit expensive. We're down to 200 nukes. I do think it's worth it though. Alright, we have officially landed unopposed, as you do against the AI. Actually, we don't even need to worry about garrison divisions. We do have our boats up here for once. Oh, look at this. Everyone is arriving. And even though we have units here, I'm still just gonna say push we have to get as much land as we can while the allies are unprepared oh they have pushed us a little bit here let's revert that change <laughs> actually i just accidentally encircled them i thought there was another tile here okay i'm not too happy about this falling back though <laughs> Yes, give them Detroit back. That's exactly why I went there. Just so I could give the AI all of this back. Encirclement by encirclement, we are getting somewhere. Oh, that's fun. That's super fun. That you just suddenly decided that this front is now split up, even though you can just link it up like normal. There we go. We have finally have one expert delegator. Although it's not on the guy that I really wanted to. It's on a defensive guy, which is still useful. Uncle Sam is finally running out of oil. New York should be a big part there we go and more join the allies in response to a major capitulating oh i'm just gonna there we go i just wanted to wait a single second and then we can break through here and pop that's another small canadian stack there's only so many more they can mobilize at this point <laughs> They're above 1k again. Manpower is just a number for the allies as well. It's an imaginary number even. I love the AI. It's my favorite fucking instrument. And I mean fucking instrument, not fucking instrument. Because the AI is always fucking me over. How does the UK cause so much havoc? We had a 90% collaboration on you. This is so ridiculous. If I would have just helped them, then resistance wouldn't have been a big issue. But now, now that I've capitulated them, oh my god, we're just going to wreak havoc. And I legitimately have to put Switzerland on brutal oppression. That is disgusting. 35% resistance target. I had 60% collaboration on those fucks. Why am I capitulating countries if I'm just getting resistance? One of those days, I'm just gonna load into a game and I'm just gonna cheat myself 5,000 nukes, declare war on everyone and just press the nuke button over and over and over and over and over and over. Look at this! Canada still hasn't capitulated over and 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 over again after losing 80 million men you still have 250 divisions and 5 million losses <laughs> oh canada is out i hope that was worth it for you assholes panama has been secured do we have a collaboration? Yes, we do have our 100% collaboration on China. That's all that matters to me at this point. We could also get India, but I can't be asked anymore. I'm being childish right now. Let's get India. Goodbye compliance. Let's just check me down and these guys are gonna pin here. These guys are gonna pin here. <laughs> Actually, they're just breaking through. I didn't want to attack you because of the tank. God, Marines are busted. And they have supply with one. All right, these guys should also be able to attack now. Jesus, can you land in Australia, please? Why are there so many Americans in Australia? Topical. <laughs> I guess they're already setting up their little spy bases. Shouldn't really be too much resistance. They should all be busy grinding up in Russia. I said they should all be busy grinding up in Russia. I guess they really ran out of manpower, huh? I did not mean to call in Nepal. Whoops. That is the Union of Red Dragons done. Okay, uh, I guess that just gave them a second wind. And Nepal is all they needed to start attacking. God, I love Marines so much. They just don't give a shit. Uh, you can just send them wherever you want them to and they will just accept it. He's never gonna get skilled stuff. <laughs> I should just stop with it. It's not worth it. Oh, come on. Just once. Just once I want working front lines if i didn't check that we would have lost all of australia again or like how we would have lost everything here one thing i should probably do remove this front line and make a fallback line and then just get tanks over here or some marines and just push into here push into here and circle those 80 divisions fall back and then just repeat this <laughs> this is so ridiculous brother how many more must die for you to stop pushing Ooh, it's getting a bit dangerous down here a little bit too dangerous for my life so time to get even more divisions out these guys are just there to hold the canal that is a very nice front line here um what the fuck 
Please get over there quickly. And just in time, I come looking for Japan. I'm gonna do a little bit of microing, but like not super interested. Especially because Japan shouldn't really... I don't know what Japan has, so maybe they have divisions, maybe they don't. Who knows? Certainly not my intelligence agency that controls 70% of the world. I forgot about my marines. The small order that I gave them. But we can fix that. I'll have to micro this extremely hard now. Like legitimately, we're... I'll have to do the thing that I said at the beginning of the game where I'm just microing every single unit. There we go. 76.92 million. Now, if I gave enough shit, I would just continue doing this. That's the easiest way to get their manpower down and also their divisions out of the field. But again, they're at 1.5 thousand divisions. So I... I'm not going to do any of this. Equatorial Guinea. No. Smiley face. I am going to send all these guys on a defensive order just so they're here. Because I want to make this China war as quick as possible. And then watch this entire thing collapse because I capitulated them and then we get 5 billion borders. And can I just call it here? I've conquered the world. I guess I haven't. Divisione Ascari Libica? Albanian China. The Albanian Chinese division Divisione Ascari Libica. Sure. All right, lads, let's make this a good one. The final one that we'll need. And you are immediately getting ordered to push. And you also have to spread out as soon as possible. There we go, he's up to 33 million manpower. But we have to deploy all of those units in Taiwan because that's where the capital is. All right, to keep it simple, I am going to first do this. Let the AI deal with those pockets. And then I have no idea. Bro, can the game please not crash when I add five units? When I do it, the game loses its mind but when the ai spits out five billion then that's perfectly fine <sighs> it smells like another 200 chinese divisions ready for the field you know what i'm gonna get up i click this button like 50 times it's still going i can't you know i hope you're enjoying the series because it takes me like five minutes to deploy divisions you can just see the flames <laughs> flying every single frame boop 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 I'm losing it. We're just gonna make this encirclement 50 times if this is what it takes. Any second you resist will just be more painful for you. I can tell you that much. So please just fucking fall over. I think <laughs> once I'm done with this series, I'm no longer allowed to go to any country. They will just ban me from traveling to every single country. I can tell you that much. They fell back again behind us. What the shit? Time to crash my PC. I'm not going to click this button anymore. Waiting for the effect of it takes longer than it's worth it. By the time that I'm done with clicking the units, I have deployed another stack. It's just nuke all around. It's just so this is quicker. Retreat from the fallout into Latvia. There we go. That is 2.1 thousand Chinese divisions. All made up of these chonkers with 24,000 men in them. I'll give you two seconds to do the math. There we go. Goodbye, China. Welcome, Chinese manpower. Give it all to me. All of it. <laughs> Finally, this number. I won't have to give a shit about this number anymore. We are going to have so much fun with this. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You all are just going to ram into those stupid allies until one of us falls over. And if it's the last damned thing you do, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Fly and never return. There we go, fly. And of course, we also have to build a few airports now. Just a couple because it just deployed like 40,000 planes. That image is not something you see every day. They have one guy defending the entirety of Estonia after seeing Latvia get nuked 70 times. Now you want to create a collaboration government? I don't fucking think so. That was 1 million men to capitulate Russia, retake all of China, take out India? What? That can't be right. Somebody in my cabinet must be faking those statistics. That can't be true. I swear. If you are making me take everything from Sweden again. Wait, did I get a collaboration going? Ah, uh, I used my brain. Thank you. Oh, I'm running out of something. Artillery. I guess that's the toll of this offensive because we've not really lost manpower, but we have lost gunpower, which if you're American is even more important than manpower. Sweden. 
I have two collaboration governments on you. All you own is this piece of crap and you have not capitulated yet. Paradox, what is this? I need to take every single fucking province. Collaboration governments on Sweden do nothing. Paradox, this is for you. I hope you enjoy this. This is personal. There we go. Just bump their war support down. Oh, to live is to suffer. And to survive is to find meaning in it. But as you can see, the only thing that's left is South America, the Philippines, New Zealand and Cuba. Everything else has capitulated. Which also means after 102 million dead men. After World War III, which took 100 million allies and 100 million Soviets, which was after World War II, they are finally down to around 600 divisions. That's just messed up. Not a single allied country is left to resist. Fuck, Chile. No. Paradox, you're not making me invade the Philippines. You are such fucking pricks. I'm also just going to preemptively go to Havana, just in case we need to go there. We shouldn't have to. Cuba has no right to become a major, but the Philippines are already a major, so all logic is out of the window. That one is on me. I prepared a naval invasion against Cuba, but not against New Zealand. I should have known myself. And Venezuela, you have done a job, but I'm sorry. World Conquest is called World Conquest and not conquer everything except for Venezuela. And I do not make the rules. Because if I did, then the Amazon wouldn't exist. At least not like this. Who are you? Unitary island state why are you in my faction whatever i guess we'll have to capitulate you later bro please no venezuela all right i guess we're gonna justify again i hate this game okay i guess i'll have to justify and declare war on venezuela hispaniola and el salvador and greece two times and welcome to the war again peru let's make it the last time shall we oh to the peace we go and of course i have to do two justifications now because it wouldn't have been fun otherwise count your blessings the last holdout of the allies this game is absolutely stupid but apparently new zealand is all that's keeping the allies alive i guess it's a counterattack from the allies anybody want to try this disaster safe haha <laughs> I'm going to go strangle something or someone once I'm done with this game. Maybe myself. Are you serious? New Zealand is actually the last holdout of the allies. I honestly expected those guys to die after this initial defense from the New Zealanders. I don't feel like the New Zealanders would have fought until the last man here, but I don't really know a whole lot about 1976 New Zealand politics if the Axis fell and the Comintern fell and the allies fell and Albania conquered all of the world except for New Zealand. We are almost done after obtaining 689 states there's only a couple that are still resisting here we are again my friend ever at the same crossroads but you wouldn't have it any other way paradox paradox you're not taking this from me after 23 hours i realize that i cannot conquer the world because of a fucking bug we have conquered the world it's just that paradox says we are not allowed to so i guess i'll have to end it at that we cannot kick the unitary island state that i never invited into my faction and we could kick greece and declare war on them but i might be mad but i'm not a monster greece was the only one that was there for us when we were into cbt and if you enjoyed this video why don't you watch the afghanistan world conquest which was so much more fun than this video because of editing haha <laughs>